Talk a little bit about the first couple of years and, and how the process has gone and uh, where do you feel the program is right now? Um, you know, I feel, you know, the, the first two years I've been at Phelps, you know, the process has been where I thought it would be. Yeah. Um, you know, recently we had, they haven't won games in so long. My first year we won four. You know, second year we went five and five. So, you know, in, in other people's mind, we're, you know, we're great all this, we're not. Um, yeah. we're, we're right where I expect us to be. And, uh, you know, in other people's eyes, like I said, it may seem like we're ahead of, ahead of things, but we're not. Um, you know, we're right where we should be. And, you know, I think that we should uh, uh, make another step forward in my third year because we have all my kids that's been with me my, all three of my years being there. Talk a little bit about the mindset of your players and, and what you really had to do right off the bat to change the <laughs> – you go from losing a lot of football games. Mm -hmm. to really, you you you've got these kids believing they can win now. Yeah, it's hey, it's all about it's all about trusting. It's all about them believing in you, believing in your process, believing in your assistant coaches. You know, you got to get a great assistant coaches around you. The head guy really is the, the guy that just holds things together, put people in places to make everybody else better. That's what a head guy does. You know, my assistants. You know, they they enforcing it. You know, even off the field. You know, being behaving and, and the mindset of just never quit. My first year, I'm telling you, the whole game, I'm, I'm telling them not to give up, not to give up, not to give up. My second year, I didn't have to say it, I get the coach. And that mindset is keep coming and coming. Now my third year in, you know, we're, it's, the process is just so much better. A lot of relief off my shoulders, right. everybody's buying in. And my little league programs is, is packed. It's just an unbelievable process. And you mentioned that the, the little, it, you have to establish it before it gets to the high school mm -hmm. level. And I think that's something that's been missing over there. Absolutely, you know, uh, we had a we have a great guy that runs it, uh, James Andy. He he kept it afloat. He's actually my assistant uh, on the high school too, and you know he's kept it afloat. I mean, uh, he just didn't have that help. And I come in and he still was over and everything, and I just set everything up. What I did was I placed coaches where they needed to be. I placed coaches, my coaches, not their coaches, my coaches, right. and you know they're doing my philosophy. What have you done to change? the mindset of kids there during the off season. I have to give a lot of credit to that, to Zach Francis. He's a young up and coming coach. He's actually, yeah. I just named him the head coach of our middle school. He's my weight training coach. And he's just been unbelievable with him in the weight room. This year we're implementing, and in, in actually in the school, uh, weightlifting. Uh, so we're gonna have a weightlifting class. See the mindset and the culture of Phelps is just changing. Yeah. And, it, and it's just an unbelievable sight. Finally, just mention the community and how they've embraced this football program. I got unbelievable support um, in Phelps, the community. All the businesses, they support us throughout the whole community. It's a big support. And on Friday night, you know, I think the biggest reason, because Friday night's a big social. You know, there's no greater sport than Friday night football, high school football. Yeah. 